I want to talk for a minute about the first cell concept. It's very simple. Identify cancer at its inception and hopefully prevent it from becoming the terminal malignant disease that kills. So for example, as soon as cancer cells start to form a tumor, they are dividing more rapidly than normal cells, so they need more blood supply, so they start, to start making more blood vessels. As soon as there is an increased formation of blood vessels in one area, that area becomes hot. This can be picked up by a number of scanning techniques, so just formation of new blood vessels. And once these tumor cells start to form, uh, they simultaneously shed off pieces of uh, abnormal proteins, pieces of mutated DNA, um, increased quantities of certain RNAs um, and all of these kinds of uh, things that we call biomarkers that can be detected are uh, can be shed off into the blood, into the bone marrow, into the saliva, into the sweat, into uh, urine or feces, into any uh, e even into the breath and these markers can be easily detected. So one can imagine, for example, developing uh, these markers that are specific for diagnosing pancreatic cancer or liver cancer or lung cancer, ovarian cancer. And we can develop like a barcode of these biomarkers that uh, we can test periodically or continuously uh, in the near future so that the humans uh, are treated as a machine. The body is continuously monitored for the appearance of any of these biomarkers that would indicate the appearance of the first cell. Now, there's a lot of talk about, oh, you will diagnose too many cancers that would not have killed the patient and overreact, overdiagnose, overtreat. I'm sure there are many of these problems that will happen and all of these will have to be worked out but uh, uh, that's why the whole idea is to use more than one type of technology and more than one type of instrumentation to identify the first cells and before definitive treatment is uh, undertaken to make sure that this is really posing a threat to the individual's life. And I do think that uh, this is the way all of healthcare is going to go uh, in a more proactive preventive rather than treating advanced disease kind of mode. So this is the whole concept of the first cell.